Um, hi, my name's Joseph. I'm seven years old, and I love that. And today, I'm going to show you why. So, this, I started with math two years ago, and I'm already doing stuff like this. Okay, what is that? Square roots, exponents, blah, 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 blah. A lot of the math problems I used in the calculator because they're so hard, like this one, and sometimes it gets a lot more serious. And, um, my dad just came in, uh, he... Almost Finish your video. Us and, yeah. Okay, so, and we almost had to start the whole robot. This is a bunch of stuff that my mom made. She made these books. She um, owns Thinking Tree, I think. And um, she made this too. This, 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 this. Which ones did I and not this. make? She, she didn't make this, this, this. Oh, this, but she did make this, 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 this. And which of these books have you actually finished? This, 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 and this. Did you like them? Mm-hmm. Why did you like it? Well, I liked this one at first, but then it kind of got, got to my least favorite page that happened every every two pages so I had to do two a day but that was the only bad part that I didn't really like but why do you think that a lot of kids don't like math they just because <coughs> they go to school and the first thing they learn in seventh grade and in first grade okay so this 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 is one plus one what does one plus one equal? Two. And that is just so boring. If you teach your kids to do the harder math first, they'll really love math. And you should not put your kids to school. Why? It's just like they teach you bad stuff sometimes. What do you they mean teach bad you stuff? stuff. Sometimes they teach you evolution. Sometimes they just te teach you like the wrong way, so it's like a lot more boring for them. Okay. And it just isn't the right way to teach them math. So if you could teach a kid math, what would you start with? 1,000 times 30. Okay, and then what would you teach them? 646 to the second power. And then what would you teach them? Fifty times fifty minus three hundred sixty-one divided by two. And then what would you teach them? Oh, this is just getting so. Hard. Would you teach them to memorize pi? Can you recite pi for us? Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six. Um, I forgot the rest. Okay, I'll find it in my book. So. I can. We can just take a look at it. You don't have to keep going. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six. Wait. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six. Two, oh, six, four, three, three, eight, three, two, seven, nine, five, oh, two, eight, eight, four, one, nine, seven, one, six, nine, three, nine, nine, three, seven, five, one, oh, five, eight, two, one, oh, nine, seven, four, Nine, okay, I think four, that's enough pie. Four, Why do you five, love pie so nine, much? Two, three, three, oh, it's actually my favorite number. Why is it your favorite number? It's the first endless.
countless number I memorized. It's probably the most complicated um, endless number in the world. It's, yeah. So, what is your favorite kind of math? Math that doesn't match. Like, sometimes 2489721 plus 346,000 to the second power divided by the square root of 85% of negative 4. Stuff that doesn't match, like... One plus one, it matches. Not very challenging, is it? No. So you love math that challenges you. Yes. Like, yeah. Like hey, would you mind telling us about your favorite calculator? Scientific calculator. What does it do? You can do so much kind of math on this. There's like ten times as much math on this. It can fit as much math as you want. And then that's all the space it has. But why would you want a lot of math? A lot of kids don't want a lot of math. Why do you think a lot of kids say they hate math? Because they aren't doing the right math. So would you like to be a math teacher when you grow up? Yes. I want to be at a school with a good bathroom that's clean. And have people that clean the bathroom when it gets dirty. And so why are you talking and about the bathrooms at school? Free lunch because they're terrible because my mom says she went to school. <laughs> and free lunch. So you say when you grow up you're going to have like a hundred orphans or something. Are you going to teach them all math? Huh? Do you think that you're going to have a school for your hundred orphans and teach them all math? What? I didn't say I would have a hundred. I said I would have ten thousand. Ten thousand orphans? Yeah. How will you take care of ten thousand orphans? At an orphanage. That's a lot of kids. I know. But well, isn't there more people to take care of them? I don't know. What do you think? How many parents would you need for ten thousand kids? Five hundred. Okay. So how many kids could each parent have? That's too hard of math. Maybe you need your calculator. No. I can't think of the right math problem to do that. <gasps> oh no. You really don't know as much math as you think you do. No. I do. It's just some math. It's too big. Like the number of orphans is too big, huh? Do you know how many orphans there are in the world? Millions. Oh yeah, like 10 million. A lot. And then there's um, 7 um, billion. Um, I think there's 9 million, billion or 8 million. Like people. 8 billion people? So do you think 8 billion people is enough to take care of like 7 million orphans? Yes. Okay. All right. Show me your very favorite math book of all your math books and we'll say goodbye. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Bye. Please give a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And keep on watching our videos.